Fort Rose Crans. Just about 10. Here's Leonard's setup. Be getting underway here shortly. March 14th. About uh, 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock. There's Leonard. How are you, sir?
let you know what's going to happen with respect to the honors. One of the greatest things that ever happens in a cemetery like ours is the playing of taps. Taps is a very revered item in this cemetery and in my heart as well. During taps, those of you who have been in the military, please render a proper hand salute for the branch of service that you might have been attached to. Otherwise, your hand over your heart, as you would during the Pledge of Allegiance for our flag, would be appropriate during TAPS itself. The other item is your cell phones. If cell phones go off unexpectedly, they can be very distracting. So if you please make sure that they're turned to silent ringing for the duration of the service, we would be very grateful. With that in mind, now that you're comfortably seated, I'm going to have to ask you to please stand for the flag of the United States and the United States Army. standing now for the honors.
Although we miss uh, Uncle Leonard dearly, uh, there's also a very strong peace knowing that um, that he's with the Lord. Of all the people I, I know, um, he's one that I always try to emulate. He brought me to the Lord at a very young age. And, um, he's, more, he's one more than anybody I know that took the Lord's great commission to heart the gospel, whether it be by word, by example, or by words on the side of Salvation Mountain. Leonard loved the Lord and he loved the, the people around him. He loved them both so much that he wanted them to know each other. Special to us in so many well. With Leonard uh, from the early years and touch base through, through the, the long years. He touched thousands of men to offer the saving grace of Jesus Christ. Leonard first blessed. of the Lord was that he was the happiest man I know. He also was one who I believe is being told right now, well done, my good and faithful servant. Well done. And what I'd like is to ask my brother to also share some words. I'd like to thank the uh, Patriot Guard for escorting Leonard here. He would have thought it was a hoop, as he commonly said. I'd like to thank the Color Guard and the Armor Guard for their service. Um, anybody that knows Leonard, he, he did nothing in a small way. Um, whether it was flying a kite hundreds of feet in the air with my father's industrial string, or building a seesaw out of the um, telephone pole. 30 feet in the air, we would go. Thank you, Becky. Um, Our parents didn't like it. Yeah, it came down pretty quick. <laughs> when, I, when I first uh, came to Lord, Uncle Leonard was driving a uh, small Volkswagen bug that was painted yellow with the words repent coming to my heart. That wasn't enough service area for Leonard, though. The next time I met him, he had a van. Uh, I helped. That's where I learned to use Bondo and, and fix car, uh, body car parts. Um, again, he painted the message even bigger. And, and then in the 80s, there was a balloon, a bigger truck. And in the 90s, the mountain was, uh, was built. And how, how could he get bigger than that? It, it's all the people that he's known and blessed, and, and we're blessed to know him. I just thank you all for coming out and being here for us. Thank you. If I may um, introduce my cousin next. Yeah. I just need to uh, say that I am honored uh, 
to be here uh, with the help of my cousins. And I thank so much for the Patriot Guard. That was just beautiful. And um, I just don't have anything else to say. It was overwhelming and it was beautiful. And I just am so honored to be here, like I said earlier, because I wasn't going to come. But everything was pointing in my direction to be here. I had no expectation of receiving the flag on behalf of my uncle. And I'm just overwhelmed. If I could say anything about Uncle Leonard, it would be that obviously I've known him since the day I was born. And he brought into my life love, empathy, fun. He put the word in adventure like I'd never known. I knew no danger. I was never in any fear on a 30-foot seesaw <laughs> or <laughs> the swings that he built. He helped us build a three-story tree house out in the woods that I am honored to be able to say that I grew up in the 35 acres that he grew up in. He taught me where every rock and every tree was and it was just, it was a great, fabulous time. So when I think about Uncle Leonard, all I think about is what he wanted everybody to know is that God truly is love. And that love, it's universal. And I feel that all of us here can leave here today knowing that yes, the Salvation Mountain is Uncle Leonard's legacy. But for me, as his niece, his legacy could also be lived in knowing that we could walk away today with love in our hearts for everybody. Because love is universal. And that could be there through acts of kindness or giving somebody that looked down you know a smile or walking up to somebody and just maybe they need a hug there's so many different ways to show love and respect and I thank you all for showing Leonard that today Uncle Leonard I read in the book um, written by um, Larry Yust and I, I just I love this because I saw this I reread it you know before coming here from Vermont and I said, oh my gosh, I, I have to share this. So this is Uncle Leonard's quote. Okay. I think that love is really the strongest force on this earth. There's so many avenues of love. It could be a lot of things. It could be a peace of mind, respect for others, just loving the day, being enthused about things, doing nice things because you want to. Love just makes a nice day. And today is a nice day. And thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Fort Rosecrans National Cemetery, I would like to extend to all of you here today our deepest sympathies and condolences from our director and our staff. To also let you know that they're in the place privately overlooking our bay. So that great shot of you as a penthouse view, if I'm not mistaken. And that will be done privately. You are welcome, however, to come back anytime after 4 o'clock today to pay your respects. I'll let you know also that the cemetery is open on a daily basis from sunrise to sunset. You Thank you all for attending. You may now return your cars.
Good enough. You got a lot of you got a lot of I shots. I think I got me some good video. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> hey, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, will do. I'll be out there. I hope to hope to see you down there, brother. Sounds good. So nice meeting you, man. You too. Doyle, I'm just helping my buddy out. It's his. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.